got something? <gasps> this is it. <laughs> Which is a paradise? Whoa, Henry Avery. Gunsway heist. Oh, what do you got there? I've never seen this one. Yeah, me either. But that, you know, that's definitely mom's handwriting. Put up your hands. Slowly. Hey, hey, hey. There's no need for that. What is he holding? Hey, hey, hey. You keep your gun on me. Give me my journal. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. I'm sorry, Nathan. So what now? Now. We wait uh, for the police. Yeah, you don't want to have to deal with that headache. Stop. I mean, the hassle of ruining two kids' lives, that's... I really don't want to shoot you. Come on, lady. It was no harm, no foul, all right? We all must face the consequences for our actions. Hm. And at least let him go. I brought him down here so he could see our mom's stuff. That's it. He had nothing to do with this. What? I'm telling you that this is all on me. No. Your mother's stuff. Yeah, that, that journal. It was our mom's. You're Cassandra Morgan's boys. Uh... Hi. My God. <coughs> I could have shot you. Yeah, you still might, so, uh, do you mind? You knew her mom? She worked for me. As I'm sure you've noticed. I'm a collector of sorts. <laughs> That's sort of an understatement. So, Mom was like your translator? Your mother was the most brilliant historian I have ever met. We could have accomplished so much together. But then her illness. And... I'm sorry. It's all right. Happened a long time ago. Of all her discoveries, this would have been her crowning achievement. Sick Parvis Magna. Greatness from small beginnings. Sir Francis Drake's motto. Latin and historical figures. <laughs> Those were our dinner conversations. We were uh, a weird family. Did she ever tell you her theories regarding Sir Francis Drake and his heirs? Uh, Sir Francis Drake didn't have any heirs. Yeah. That's what history tells us. But your mother and I believed otherwise. Learning that old pirate's secrets is just one more adventure I have to let go. I guess there's a lot I have to let go. <laughs> Forgive me. Ramblings of an old woman. Yeah. It is as much yours as it is mine. Who knows?
Perhaps one day you'll be able to finish what she started. Uh, yeah, so, uh, we're off the hook, right? I'll handle the police. You found your way in. I trust you can see yourself out. Hmm? Yeah. Uh, <sighs> Thank you. Sorry about the mess. <laughs> All right, come on, Nathan. Let's go. Are you okay? Holy shit. Hey. 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 Sam? Sam? Oh, come on. You all right? Wait, we have to do something. Yeah, we need to get the hell out of here. We can't just leave her here. There's nothing we can do for her, all right? We have to run. If the cops find us here, then this... Ma'am? Nathan! We gotta go. Right now. I'd say we're clear, but we catch our breath for a second. Some night, huh? Some night. That old lady. Hey. Hey, you listen to me. That wasn't our fault back there. I mean, that lady, she... She was, um... Sick. I mean, it's okay to feel bad. But there was nothing we could do about it. So what are we gonna do now? I can't go back to the orphanage. You can't go back to your job. Then we don't. Sure. No, I'm serious. We get as far away from this place as we possibly can. Yeah? And how long till the cops find us? Oh, I think they'll be looking for Nathan and Samuel Morgan. Yeah, that's us. What if it wasn't? Nathan? Back at that mansion, you knew just as much about that stuff as that poor old lady. Here. I always felt that we were destined for something great. But until tonight, I didn't know what that meant. But this... Mom's unfinished work. This is our chance to restart our lives. With brand new identities. What are you talking about? I know some guys. Pretty good at forging papers, too. Now, as for our new name... Mom believed that Sir Francis Drake had heirs. Who's to say he didn't? You're serious, aren't you? Nathan, we were meant for this. And I promise, you and me together, we're gonna go far. So what do you say? Nathan Drake? And everything changed after that. You know, we became explorers, adventurers, mostly thieves. Ow. Okay, just hold still. You know, for a while it felt like you know, if we weren't taking turns going to jail, it was because we were in jail together. And you know, after I lost him, I, 
or after I thought I lost him. You didn't want to bring him back up again. Something like that. Well, that's it. Now you know everything. With you, I doubt that that's everything. But... It's a lot. I'd love to know what you're thinking. I'm thinking that you're lucky that I found you when I did. Yeah. I'm glad you didn't lose a limb or anything. <coughs> it would have been a royal pain getting you out of here. How did you uh, find me anyway? Oh, you know, easy. Just follow the sound of gunfire. <laughs> no, I mean, how did you get here? Oh, of course. <laughs> Come in, Sully. Hey, darling. How's he doing? Oh, you know, he's banged up, but he's alive, par for the course. Now we just need to rescue the other Drake. What do you mean? I'll let Nate tell you. Hey, pal. Glad you could join us. Yeah, I wouldn't miss it. So what happened to Sam? Rafe's got him. Uh, yeah, they're headed to the northern side of the island. See if you can find a place to set down over there. Once we get Sam, we're gonna need to get out of here pretty quick. Copy that. Hey, hey, what about the treasure? Forget it. We don't need it. But Alcazar... No, there is no Alcazar. It's all bullshit. Wait, you mean... the dip, the... The escape? Yeah, Sam made it all up. What an asshole, right? Look, I'll fill you in on everything when I see you, okay? Yeah, I can't wait. But you two be safe down there. You know us. JJ. Thanks. Sure? No, I mean... Thanks for saving me. Again. I almost didn't this time. Right. Come on. I got us a ride. Gotcha! Uh, 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 uh. Whew. Huh? So much for the car. I wasn't trying to protect you. It's just, I, I made a promise that I was done with this life. We both did. Yeah, but I broke it. I didn't tell you because I was afraid. Afraid of what? Of losing you. I guess I was uh, protecting myself, you know? We have a lot of ground to cover. Yeah. We should keep moving. Yeah. Come on. You're right? Yeah. Wow. Welcome to Avery's neighborhood. It's a nice place. <laughs> if you don't mind some structural problems and water damage. Yeah, clearly some drainage issues. A real fixer-upper opportunity. <laughs> okay, so... Looks like somebody blew that dam and then flooded the whole place. You know, I forgot. Pretty good at this. All right, so which one of these do you think is Avery's? Uh, my money's on that one. The one that's still intact. Ah. 
You're not so bad at this either. Yeah, well, you know, I've had a little practice. I've read a few books. Shit, no. shit. What? What? The front door. Sam. He's still alive. And yeah, for now. Come on. Good lord. <laughs> Looks like we found the party. Looks like we're a little late. <laughs> hey, Nate. <laughs> Check it out. It's another sigil. Oh my god. What? them. Elena, these other pirate captains have founded Libertalia. What the hell happened here? Well, I'm no forensics expert, but I would say... bad drinks? Apparently. So what was this? Some kind of wealthy pirate suicide cult? <laughs> yeah, not likely. Not these guys. On behalf of Lord Avery, I invite you to my manor at sundown tomorrow. The time has come to abandon our animosities and reunite under the banner of God and Liberty. Signed, Thomas II. What do you bet? Thomas too, Henry Avery. Looks like our hosts didn't stick around to clean up their mess. Well, that wasn't very gracious of them. Okay, so... So these guys sparked a full-scale revolt when they claimed the treasure for themselves. Now, they took care of the colonists, but then they had to deal with each other. And I'm guessing things got pretty messy. So, Avery and Two invite them up here to, um, uh, what was it, uh... Abandon our animosities. Abandon the animosities. Avery makes a grand toast. For God and liberty! Arg, ahoy, mateys, all that. <laughs> and they all take a swig. Except these two. And just like that, all the treasure of Libertalia becomes a sole possession. Two men. <laughs> These are some of history's greatest pirates, and they all perished in an instant at this very table. It's incredible. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I, uh, I'm sorry. It's okay. So, since our missing hosts aren't here at Two's Manor... We should head over to Avery's. Yeah. Let's go. Nate. Yeah. Did you find something? I think so. Whoa. <laughs> Good thing they figured that out for us. How did you do that? There's a bloody fingerprint right here where Libertalia should be, and I... pushed it. Nicely done. Hey, watch your head. Yeah. <sighs> oh. Looks like Avery built himself a panic cave. <laughs> yeah, I wonder where this goes. <laughs> Crap. Guess we're gonna find out. This place doesn't look very stable. <laughs> Keyhole? Key. 
It could be a trap. We really don't have much of a choice. Oh, boy. But I have a good feeling about this one. Huh? Do it. You didn't bring a knife by any chance, did you? No. Oh, but that guy's got a sword. Here, help me swing this thing. Just like old times, huh? Lena? Lena? Hey! Hey! Lena, come on! Lena! Uh, my hero. Oh, no, you didn't do that. <laughs> no! That's not funny! Oh, oh you have done much worse. No. Gosh, you gave me a goddamn heart attack. Oh, let me listen. Sounds good to me. Uh, you realize we're well, now even for everything I've ever pulled, right? Yeah, like ever. No, not by a long shot. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, you've got mud everywhere. <laughs> Anyone ever tell you you have a funny idea of romantic? Yeah. Yeah, I may have heard that somewhere before. Good talk. Good talk. That's got to be Sam. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Good to see you, kid. <laughs> right in the nick of time. Yeah, well... A little antsy waiting around to hear from you two. Oh, no, we gotta find Sam and Elena still. Hey. 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 Are you okay? Yeah. We heard those explosions. We thought. Yeah, that's all this guy. <laughs> <laughs> you saved his ass again. Naturally. How you doing? Good. Good. There were some close calls, but um, he covered me. Hey. Hey. How's that? Oh, <laughs> bullet grazed my shoulder. Yeah. You? Cliffside, grazed my face. Yeah. So how'd you lose Rafe? <sighs> hey, you led his crew right into one of Avery's traps. Smart. <laughs> hey, hey, look. About the whole Alcazar thing. Hey, just, we gotta save that for later, okay? Which way? On the beach, other side of this town. Okay. Good, I hope all that ruckus didn't attract any attention. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry. What are we doing? What do you think we're doing? We're getting the hell off of this rock. Right, we, we, we could do that. Or we could head in that direction, which is a shortcut. Shortcut to what? To Avery's treasure. <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, Rafe's gotta go all the way around, but we can hey, just- screw Rafe. Hey. Victor, with all due respect, maybe just You just this... don't know when to quit. Look, we're all here for the same reason, right? Right? We didn't come after the treasure. We came after you. And I appreciate that. I, I, I do. But we're good. A and we've got the lead for now. <laughs> we can do this. Nathan, come on. Huh? Look around. Okay? Avery scuttled every last ship on this island. You know why? Because he was hell-bent on keeping his treasure. Exactly. No matter the cost to the others around him. Because he didn't want anyone to follow him. Because he was leaving. Look at this. Okay. I found his map of the island. Okay? 
That's his ship, right under that mountain. That's where our treasure is. And it is exactly where Rafe is headed right now, while we stand around here and argue like idiots. What if he's already left the island, and his ship sunk somewhere out there in the middle of the ocean? Then we find out where it got sunk. Oh, boy. How long we been chasing this thing, huh? You and me. No offense to these guys, but they don't get it. Actually, Sam, they do. They really do. Okay. Trust me, they've seen this kind of obsession before. <sighs> Sam, we're not those kids anymore. We're not. And we got nothing to prove. Victor, where's that plane? Right this way. There you go. Sam! Bitch! Sam, come on! Huh? Hey. Come on, just jump, I'll catch you. Let's go! No, 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 don't you even think about it, you hear me? I'm sorry I got you into this. All of you. Hey, all that doesn't matter anymore, okay? Just, just jump. I gotta see this thing through, Nathan. Sam, hey, listen to me. If you do this, I'm not coming after you. You hear me? I'm sorry. Sam, Sam! Oh, stupid, stupid. You called your bluff? He's gonna get himself killed. Come on. She's, she's probably right. Of course she is. Let's go. Hold on. Oh, she's got it. Okay. All right. All right, see? This isn't gonna hold. Dang, go. No, I got it. Go! God damn it. Now how the hell are we supposed to get up there? We don't have enough time. Nate? No? Not by yourself? Look, I'll come right back, okay? Look, he is not gonna leave without a fight. Yeah, well, then I'll fight him if I have to, but either way, I'm bringing him back. Just get the plane as close to the mountain as you can, and be ready for a quick getaway. Like there's another kind? It's not fair. Huh? Doing the dishes? We take turns? Don't even think about not coming back. <laughs> I love you. Same to you, cowboy. We're almost done here? This is the last of a man. Good. If we are, we can catch up with the others. <sighs> Sam just stole our goddamn boat. He's headed for every ship. Come on. Let him. We're done. We're done? Most of my men are dead, Rafe. And those who aren't have already left. Can you see that? The end is literally in sight. That maniac pirate of yours has rigged this entire cave. I'm not setting foot on his ship. Nadine, if you cut and run right now, the loss of all your men, everything that we've done, is for nothing. We have millions in gold right here. I'd say that plus our lives is something. No wonder so many of your men abandoned me. Excuse me? We're on the verge of making history here, and you're willing to just walk off with a pittance, a fraction of what Sam's gonna get from that boat. 
If he can walk away from that ship alive, he can have it. Hell, I'd say he's earned it. God knows you didn't. Now look, we can stand here and insult each other all day, or we can finish what it is that we <laughs> Oh, we're finishing it, all right. Sorry, ma'am. Thing about mercenaries, Nadine, their loyalty, it's bought. It's not earned. Now come on. Either we can finish this thing together, or we can just end it right here. Let's go make history. And a girl. By all means. <laughs> Sam. Oh, he's right there. Sam? Relax, he's alive. Oh, this idiot nearly got us all killed. I'm getting him out of here. No, you're not. Rafe, you can have the treasure, all right? Just let me save my brother. <coughs> <laughs> After everything he's done? How noble of you, but no. We stay here any longer, and we're all dead. Is that what you want? It's not what I said. What do you think, Nadine? <coughs> Good to see you up and about. Be a dear and relieve Nate there of his gun. Hand it over. You really think you can trust him? Huh? Not your concern. Now, why are you trying to instigate? Nate? Nadine and I are our partners. I don't screw over my partners. Get over there. You and your brother, though. Right from the start, you took advantage of my generosity. You tried to cut me out, and it's high time you learned. What are you doing? Now you give me your gun. <laughs> Nadine? I won't ask you again. You are being profoundly stupid right now. Look over there. Nadine, stop screwing around. Jesus! I said look! Okay, it's a couple of skeletons. So what? I don't know as much about history as you boys, but I've got a pretty good idea who those two are. Well, enlighten us. It's Avery and two. They killed each other. Good for them. What's the point? Everyone obsessed with this treasure gets what they deserve. So what, you're just leaving us here to die? Oh, I'm just leaving. Whether you die or not, I don't really care. Nadine, wait. So long, Rafe. Nadine! Nadine! You open this goddamn door right now! Rafe, she's gone! Come on, give me a hand, we'll all get out of here. Won't work. Come on, help me with Sam and I'll help you open the door. Well, I'm not going to be able to enjoy one of these coins. Knowing that you and your worthless brother are still sucking air. Hey, just, just calm down. You can practice your fencing when we get outside. Nate, just shut up. Seriously, Rafe, this is insane, even for you. You 
care about that parade of losers so much. I'm going to make sure they join you. On guard, dickhead. All right, all right. We're done here. I'm taking my brother and we're leaving. You want to stay and burn with the ship, you be my guest. You got me. You know what, Nate? Underneath all the bravado, you're just a sad little boy with delusions of grandeur. Who, by the way, can't fence for shit. So long, Nathan Drake. Nathan! Treasure Wraith, it's all yours. Holy shit! Hey, come on, let's get you out of here. It's too heavy. Strike it. It's no use. Try again. It's no use. Listen to me. Listen to me. All I ever wanted to do was find this treasure with you. Is that me? Hey, sure. We did it. We did it, brother, okay? It's all right. There's gonna be another way. Nathan, you gotta go. There's gonna be some. You gotta go! This tumped! There is no other way! Come on, Nathan. I gotta know you made it out all right. No. Nathan, the whole place is about to blow up! That's it! What the hell are you doing? It's trust me! God damn it! Let's get your head down! Yeah, I think so. Yeah, feel free to sell anything I left behind. <laughs> sure, I can't give you a lift home. After the last few days, I think I'd like a plane with drink service and reclining seats. Plus, uh, she and I have a lot to talk about. Yeah, you do. And no more late night phone calls about one last time. <laughs> Promise. Thanks, Sally. Take care, kid. Don't be a stranger. Next time you're in town, beers are on me. I'll hold you to that. <laughs> and then the bunny escapes anyway, and it leaves little bunny surprises all over the headmaster's bed. Hey, 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 what are you telling her? Just about your little magic phase. Oh, I hate you. What was your stage name? 
Go on, tell her. Nate the Great. <laughs> it's not funny. It makes sense. In his defense, he was actually, you were pretty good. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hey, look, Sam, it has been an experience getting to meet you. With the handshake? Well... Bring it in for the real thing, sister. You take care of this gnome skull, all right? Yeah, I will. I'll join you in a sec. Yeah. I like her. God help her, she sure seems to love you. <laughs> I know, right? Listen, the offer still stands. I appreciate it, but I'm good. I know, but if you feel like you're imposing, it's, you're not. We not talked about, about that. it. It's not about that. It's a little bit of that, okay? Yeah. But I just kind of thought that after we found Avery's treasure, I'd be satisfied. Uh -huh. Instead, I have uh, <laughs> kind of left with this strange feeling of emptiness. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, as thrilling as the next adventure might be, in the end, I always left with that same feeling. And sometimes you just gotta choose what you're gonna keep and what you're gonna let go. Well, I guess I'm just not there yet. And besides, you know, you've got a few ancient cities on me. I can't let that slide. So. Yeah, I left a couple out there. Well, thank you. <laughs> oh, that's, that's all right. Yeah. Uh, Sam. Come far. We sure have a little brother. Come on. Listen, you don't do anything I wouldn't do, all right? Get out of here, Vemos. <laughs> What's next for you, hmm? Hmm. <laughs> well, before I got dragged into this, I was working on a business deal of sorts. Of sorts? Hmm. Dangerous? Mm hmm. With these people, yeah. It's up there. Well, I just so happen to know a certain someone recently out of prison who might be perfect for this kind of work. Ooh, I don't know. Is he trustworthy? More or less. As is Portuguese. Quando seu marido volta para casa? What's that mean? How long before your husband gets home? <laughs> That'll do. Come on. You got any more of those cigars? Don't push your luck. What's going on? Land a big contract or something? Oh, even better. I'm on the verge of selling Jameson Marine. No kidding? Yeah. Wow, that, well, hey, I guess, I guess congratulations are in order, huh? Well, not yet, but I'm confident it'll go through. They drove a hard bargain, but in the end, I think we came to a mutually beneficial agreement. That's, that's great. Are, are you gonna stay on? No, 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 no. I think I'd like to just relax, hang with the family, go fishing every chance I get. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> so who's the sap who's gonna buy this place? Oh, uh, you are. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, come on, seriously. Oh, yeah, seriously. <laughs> wait, Jameson. Hey, wait, wait up, man. Hey, morning, guys. What are you doing here? Just thought I'd take, you know, one final look. Already gave your husband the keys. Okay. Perfect. Is, is this for real? Nate, all you need to know is that you'd be making a very wise investment. Do the right thing here. Call me when you're through. You got it. 
Hi. Hi. You, you're buying Jameson Marine? We are buying Jameson Marine. Huh. Okay. How? Why? Well, I heard this rumor about a salvage job off the coast of Malaysia, and I thought it would be right up no, our no. alley. No, Honey, look. We barely got out of Libertalia alive. Yeah. Hey, taking an illegal job? You know what that leads to. Who said it was illegal? <laughs> look. This came in this morning. Is this legit? Yeah. Some of my old contacts out there, they worked their magic with the Malaysian permit office. <laughs> it was great. I didn't even have to bribe anyone. Well, that's good because I don't know how we could possibly even afford to do this. Here. Hold out your hand. What? Hold out your hand. Come on. Crap. Where did you get this? It was in my jacket pocket. <sighs> Along with a bunch more. A bunch? Sam. He's a sneaky <laughs> one. Yeah. Of course, most of them are gonna have to go into our venture here. Along with all the new camera gear. Camera gear? Yeah. You know, I figured as we're pulling all the cargo up from the dive, we could hire, you know, a small crew. We could film the whole thing and resurrect my old show. What happened to just living a normal life? I think in our attempt to lead a normal life, we may have oversteered. Look, when I was on that island, I missed the adventure. I missed us. And so now we have a chance to do what we love. But from here on out, we are gonna operate on a strictly legal basis, all right? And I will be doing all of the shooting with my really expensive camera. Wow. You've really thought all this through, haven't you? More or less. But listen, just say the word and I will call the whole thing off. What? No, 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 no. I, I don't want to be that guy who ruins Jameson's early retirement like that. That'd be cruel. Right. <laughs> it's not going to be easy, you know. Nothing worthwhile is. So, what do you say, Nathan Drake? Sure, why not? Hmm. Yeah, as long as I don't have to do any paperwork. <laughs> well, I can't do it. I'm gonna have my hands full with the camera. Well, I'm gonna have my hands full with all the diamond. Okay, fine. We'll take turns. Yeah. Or... I could play for it. Seriously? No, listen, I have been practicing. I'm getting good. No. My hand eye is way I better than it used to be. Yeah. Really? <laughs> I cannot do that to you again. Are you afraid to play me? I am so not. Afraid on a to scale play of you. one to ten, how scared are you to play me? Like a three. Yeah. Well, jack that up to like eleven. All oh. right, because <laughs> I'm coming for you. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh my. That's. Okay. Fine. You're on.
Where are they? <laughs> so goofy. He left his keys. He left his keys. What the hell? Oh shit. Crap. Hey, there you are. Hey. Been looking for you. What are you doing in here? Uh, looking for you guys. Come on, we loaded up the boat. It's ready. Cool. I'll catch up with you guys in a sec. Why? Uh, I just need to, um... Uh, What's get... up, Cassie? Okay. Don't be mad. I said, don't be mad. Keys. <sighs> so, what did you see? Nothing really. Well, just that photo of you two and Sully with a bunch of Spanish looking treasure and a shotgun. This is bound to happen sometime. Maybe we should just tell her. She's not ready for it. Ready for what? All that crazy shit in there? Language. Yeah, language. Sorry. But you guys are literally keeping skeletons in your closet. Or at least a silver skull of some kind. You know, I don't think I'm ready for this. Really. Nate? It's time to have the talk. Mm. Yeah, it's totally time. Wait, which talk are we talking about here? She's just a kid. She's older than you and Sam when you started That's, all of this. That is different, and you know it. Okay, look, if you guys were into some shady stuff, it's totally cool. <laughs> but I think I'm old enough to know about it, right? Old enough? How old are you again? Ah, <sighs> funny. Mom? All right. Well, let's see. Um, for me, it started when this guy called me up with a scoop on a massive historical find. <laughs> it sounded like a complete fraud. Yeah, handsome fraud. No, I hadn't even met him yet. Oh, she knew. <laughs> she knew. So this fraud says, if you fund the trip, then I'll give you the coffin of Sir Francis Drake. And for the record, I totally delivered. Yeah, you delivered us into the hands of Indonesian pirates. No, come on, you know I had nothing to do okay, with that. Okay, guys, time out. You're saying that you were attacked by pirates after you found the coffin of Sir Francis Drake. Is that right? Yeah, yeah that, pretty that's pretty much right. it, yeah. Bullshit. Language. Language. Crap. Better. All right, so keep going. You know what? The sun is up, boat's ready, wind is just right. You want to continue the story? I say we do it on the water. Come on. Well, wait, what did what Francis Drake look like? Was it gross? Actually, he wasn't in there. Yeah, just his journal with a map to El Dorado. The city of gold? Uh, that's the legend. Turns out it was just a statue, a cursed statue. No way, seriously? Yeah, seriously. But uh, well, I'll get back to that later. 